main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own. 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time, and in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It is time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Alex Poetai. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 14 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. Victor the Phenom Belfort! UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, or we might win at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Too. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the Philly takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Engages in the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. 
Nice. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. tie and a nice job at least staying upright on that oh massive head kick there we'll see if he can finish nice punch there by Vitor Belfort Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Just out of range with that strike. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Under three minutes remain in round one. What a punch. Duffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice kick. Single collar tie now. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. You don't understand how tiring this position is. I know the clinch may not look pretty, but it's very, very effective. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast. So. There it is. Take the shot now. Take the shot. There it is. Oh, a little single collar tie there. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying. Stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He's got to go chase that finish down now. that takedown attempt without issue. Left hand punch in the clinch. Look at the turtle in that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. very well but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down it showed that the power is not equal and if he can land he does have the ability to damage it Go finish this fight. 
mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next round. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Big kick land. And he landed the right hand there. Switching stances here. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. All right, so we'll follow tie now. Watch the shot. Oh, so for the shot, take the shot. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. in a single collar tie. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Can't take many of those, you better check. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. More than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. Did you see Tiger Sukata? He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Cabeça excelente. Olho 
calor aqui, bonito. Ele já desistiu, já deu pra ver. É agora que você vai chegar lá e vai acabar. You ready? You ready? Fight. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Tie stuffs the takedown, no problem. Again, back into this position. Tie now. Right hand punch from the clinch. Big punch from the clinch. A oh, little single collar tie there. Ooh, what a punch. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Three minutes to go in round three. Right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Takedown defense holds up. Big punch land. Ooh. He engages in a single collar tie here. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's buried his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. <laughs> 20 seconds to go. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Battling for hooks. Stuff the takedown, no problem. 
And they separate. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round of fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big punch lands through the middle. Checks the leg kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. More clinch. Big hots being landed on both sides here. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Single collar tie now. Nice straight punch. trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back DC where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Under two minutes now to go. Seconds remain in the round. Twenty 
20 seconds left. Final seconds of round four. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. Jason, after that round, we had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Fifth and final round. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Now the hammer fist here by Vitor Belfort. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that area. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Going orthodox now. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Oh, looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Attack an armbar. Come on, escape. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that armbar. Go right into side control. Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Right now. Right now. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest stages. And there is the UFC middleweight king. Best fighter in the world at 185 pounds. What a knockout he turned in here tonight.